okay in this video we continue our discussion on cycle matrices and in the, uh, this video discusses about fundamental cut matrices okay another important matrix related to a graph so let me give you the definition of a fundamental cut matrix so it is going to be a sub matrix of a cycle matrix and it is going to be defined as follows a sub matrix of a a sub matrix of a cycle matrix in which all rows corresponds okay all rows corresponds to set of fundamental cycles is called a fundamental cycle matrix and usually denoted by b sub f okay so i think you remember the definition of fundamental cycles so fundamental cycles are defined with respect to a spanning tree okay uh, if you want to see the definition write the video which is given in in the description of this video okay so anyway fundamental cycles are defined with respect to a spanning tree okay so uh, let's consider this graph g and this and one spanning tree of this graph so the spanning edges here are or the branch edges so here okay, this red graph it represents a spanning tree for this graph g okay so with respect to the spanning tree the branch edges so here the branch edges are so branch edges are edges that belongs to the spanning tree so e1 okay e1 then e4 e1 e4 e1 e4 e5 and e7 Okay, so here we have a graph with one, two, three, four, five vertices. So the spanning tree will contain four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so these four edges uh, are branch edges with respect to this red spanning tree, and the remaining edges are called cones. So cone edges with respect to this spanning tree is this E two, this edge E three. Okay, E two. E3 and E6. So fundamental cycles are defined with respect to a chord edge. For example, in this case, we have three chord edges. So that says uh, the fundamental cycles. There will be three fundamental cycles for this graph G. So one fu fundamental cy cycle is obtained by okay adding E2 to that spanning tree, and that will create a cycle. So so in this case, there will be three fundamental cycles. So so fundamental cycles for this graph are so if we add e2 okay we get this fundamental cycle and let's call that z1 and z1 represent the uh, set containing that cycle so we are adding e2 so it contains uh, e1 e2 e1 e2 e4 and e7 e4 E seven so okay so that is one fundamental cycle okay so if we add a different chord so E three here so we will get another fundamental cycle and that fundamental cycle is going to be this E three E four E seven and let's call that E seven two so that is E three E four E seven and there is one more fundamental cycle since we have three chords here so E seven three is uh, we are adding e6 to our spanning tree so we get e5 e6 e7 so e5 e6 e7 okay so these are the three fundamental cycles of this graph with respect to the, this red spanning tree okay so with this fundamental cycles we are we are going to define what is called a fundamental cycle matrix Okay, B sub F. So it is going to be a sub matrix of a cycle matrix. Okay, so a sub matrix of a cycle matrix in which all rows corresponds to a set of set of fundamental cycles is called a fundamental cycle matrix B F. So, so this is going to be our B F matrix with respect to this graph G. Okay, so that corresponds to 
the set of all fundamental cycles. So here we have three fundamental cycles. So what we do is, okay, we uh, index the rows by Z1, Z2, and Z3. Okay, so Z1, Z1 contains, uh, okay, E1, E2, E4, E7. So we put one there. Okay, E1. So E1, E2, E4, and E7. Similarly, okay, if you consider this uh, fundamental cycle, and that row corresponds to that fundamental cycle will be like, okay, uh, E3, E4, E7, and similarly, with respect to this fundamental cycle, E5, the row will be like E5, E6, E6 and E7. Okay, so that is what is called a fundamental cycle matrix of a graph with respect to a spanning tree. So, a submatrix of a cycle matrix in which all rows corresponds to a set of fundamental cycles is called a fundamental cycle matrix BF. So, very easily we can see that okay, this is a submatrix of uh, the cycle matrix of this graph. So, all together I, uh, we will get Okay, one, two, three. Okay, four, five, six. Okay, I think there will be seven or eight cycles here. Okay, so in order to uh, get this B sub F, the fundamental cycle matrix, what we do is we okay, only need to consider fundamental cycle. So for this graph with respect to this spanning tree, there are three fundamental cycles: Z1, Z2, and Z3. Okay, so Z1 uh, is with respect to this coded E2 and Z2 is with respect to E3 this coded and Z3 is with respect to E6 this coded. So you have, okay, what we do is in order to get BF, okay, we consider those rows of the cycle matrix that corresponds to these fundamental cycles. Okay, so here again we can see that the order of this in general will be like suppose that you have a graph with say a graph with say n vertices and m edges okay uh, we saw the number of chord edges will be okay so the number of chord edges Okay, it will be m minus n plus 1. Okay, so m minus n minus 1. So we are dealing with uh, an n vertex, n vertex m at the graph. Okay, so anyway, uh, these coordinates just will uh, are defined with respect to a spanning tree. And that since the spanning tree spans the vertices, number of edges will be like n minus 1. So if we remove uh, that n minus 1 from this m, we get the number of Chord edges, okay. Okay, so that says the order, order of a fundamental cycle matrix of a graph with n vertices and m edges will be like. So it will contain uh, m minus n plus one rows. Okay, so it will contain m minus n plus one rows and m edges okay so that's what we you could see here okay so again it is a sub matrix of uh, the cycle matrix so the columns will be indexed by the edges and the rows will be indexed by uh, the different cycles but here since it's the fundamental cycle matrix by definition uh, all rows corresponds to a set of fundamental cycles here okay, so here we can see that if you consider this graph the okay, number of chord edges is 3 okay and number of edges is uh, okay, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay and that says uh, the order of this graph it will be uh, is, this matrix will be 3 by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay and that's what we saw here okay so Okay, so fundamental cycle matrix is defined in this way. It is a submatrix of the cycle matrix in which all rows corresponds to the set of fundamental cycles. 
okay so on such a sub matrix is what is called a fundamental cycle matrix okay